my name is Fiona and welcome back to Crafted by Rose. In today's video I am going to be unboxing Crochet Society which is curated by Bella Coco Crochet. This is the latest release so this is box 30 and as we can tell by this beautiful box it is their Christmas box. They have beautifully decorated this box with our Christmas theme and also they have changed the lip of the box so it is scalloped and it kind of looks like Christmas garland so yeah so let's get into this box and see what we have this month now there's our velcro opening so in the lip of the box we have merry and bright don't forget to share your makes using the hashtag Crochet Society on Instagram. So we have this beautiful royal blue tissue paper. So let's get this open. I am one of those people that like to carefully open these. Yes, so I try not to tear them. I don't know why I do that. I've just always been like that. Maybe you are too. There we go, managed to get that done. Okay, so from first look, I'll say that at least one of the patterns is going to be an origami pattern because we have the hollow fibre filling. I love this filling. So, let's put that to one side. First off, we have... Now, they did do this last year, I believe, but last year's was gold. So this is a stitch marker holder. So in little, in little, in Crochet Society each month you get a different stitch marker. So this is to hold all the stitch markers that you have. It was really, this was really popular last year. So if you wanted to get one last year and couldn't, you've got managed to get it this year. So for the stitch marker this month, we have our beautiful little Christmas tree with the star on top. Then we have, okay, so what is, okay, so now we have a decoration for our Christmas tree. So this is our heart, but it, as you might be able to see, they've done it as a ball of yarn that's become a heart. And then you can just hang your crochet love onto your Christmas tree. Then what do we have? I'm guessing these are going to be googly eyes or safety eyes if we've got an origami pattern. Let's check. Yep, so we have some safety eyes. So we are going to have some kind of origami. Or origa I can never say that by like origami. That one side. Okay, so next we have. Oh, oh, I like this. This is pretty, pretty. But it, ah, I was about to say it doesn't say what size it is. Okay, it's not very easy to see because it's got a heavy amount of glitter on here. But it's a four millimeter. I don't know if you're able to see that in the camera. Because there is a lot of glitter in in this in this particular design, and it's kind of covering up the sizing. But you can just about make out that this is meant to be a four millimeter. But you've got all these snowflakes, so it's kind of like a nighttime Christmas scene on your polymer clay handle. Because all of these are all the hooks that you get in Crochet Society are nearly always a polymer clay handled. Or should I say it got a polymer clay handle because they're custom made for these boxes. So each month's box will have a different design on their crochet hook. So let's have a look at the yarn that we have this month. So we have Cinderella Coco's in house yarn. So here we have our in house. And this is Confection DK, so that's double knit. And this colour is called Candy Corn. It is a 50 gram ball 
and it is 110 meters so that's probably around about 127 yards maybe a little bit more so with this yarn you will hand wash and lay dry and lay flat to dry so hand wash lay flat to dry and you will need a either three to four millimeter crochet hook for this particular yarn so this and it is a hundred percent acrylic so they call it candy corn this color it's kind of like sweet corn or oh, what's the color i'm trying to think of it reminds me of a, one of the shades from Stylecraft, and I can't cannot think of the name at the moment, but it is a lovely yellow colour. It's got like your golden yellow. Don't you hate that when you have you can got the name of something on the tip of your tongue, and you for the life of you, you just can't remember it. Well, at least you can't remember it when you need to remember it. Anyway, moving on. Here is our next colour, which is like a petroleum blue so let's have a look at this one this is called raspberry sour yeah. again it's 50 grams it is 110 meters it's 100 percent acrylic it is hand wash lay flat to dry and you need either three or four millimeter crochet hook then we have a cream in this yarn confection dk and then this one is called icing sugar they have made some creative names for these in-house yarns and then finally we have the silver or gray and they are calling it earl gray so it is a very neutral color palette for this month's make whatever it is that we're going to make which we'll find out in a minute so that's our colour palette for this month. So you've got, hold on, that bug me if I don't fix it. So we have our icing, icing sugar, we have our Earl Grey, we have our candy corn and we have our raspberry sour. Let's put these aside for a moment. Let's see what else we have okay so this has multiple uses this is something that you can use to hold your hold and store your crochet hooks like so you have big holes and little holes so you could put something littler in these holes here that you have the big holes so these can be used like i said for a number of things so you can use them to hold your crochet hooks like so you could use them for your if you were a person that did diamond painting you could use it for your pens or if you didn't do crafts you could use it at, for to hold all your makeup brushes in so it has a number of uses and this can be moved taken out at least normally it yeah so these can be taken out if you for example if you do choose to use these for your makeup brushes and this gets a little bit dirty and you want to clean it you can take it out and goes back in easy enough so that is your pen holder or your hook holder then we have postcard merry and bright so it's on theme with your box you could use this for any of your layouts for your christmas crochet projects if you're a person that likes to upload your makes onto instagram you can just include this in the photo or you could just use it as a postcard and onto the pattern booklet so here is our pattern booklet i just moved this these rest of this stuff back in the box box 
to one side. So here we have our pattern booklet for this month's box. So at least one of our patterns is going to be these mittens here. So you have your welcome note or message from Sarah Jane. Here is our contents page. So we have, as normal, we have three patterns in the book. Like I thought, this one of them is the origami pattern. So the origami for this month is Pierre the Polar Bear. The adorable, this adorable new friend wears a smashing jumper. So you get to make the bear and give him a nice Christmas jumper. Then we have the frosted ice cool mitts. Keep toasty with these pretty mitts. So keep your hands nice and toasty. Because if you're anything like me, I, my hands get really cold this time of year, even when I'm indoors. And then finally, we have Christmas tree ornaments. So you can make some garland for your Christmas tree. So you can make some stars, you can make some baubles, you can make some reindeer, some snowflakes. Make your tree extra special with your crochet this year. We get our tea and chat to get to know Gillian Hewitt, Hewitt of Spin a, Spin a Yarn Crochet. Then alternatives for the yarn in this box. So if you want to make more of the projects but you've run out of the yarn in the box, these are the recommended alternatives that you can buy separately. So this is the interview with Gillian Hewitt. I love this origami gingerbread man or gingerbread woman. I've never seen this kind of take on a gingerbread man before. I think it's so cute. I actually want to make that. I don't normally make origami, but that I do really do love. And here is Pierre the Polar Bear. This is made by Gillian Hewitt. So the pattern for the origami pattern for this box is by Gillian Hewitt. And this is her Pierre the Polar Bear with his woolly jumper. And the patterns are always written clearly and easily for you to read. What's in your box? This month's box, we've got goodies for you. So in this month's box, we have our... Uh, Divine decorations make your tree extra special this year with your Christmas crochet heart. Hold on to your hooks and store your hooks in this handy hook holder. You don't just have to use this for your crochet hooks. You can use it for your makeup brushes. You can use it for pens, whatever it is you want to store on your desk. Send your love this unique postcard to send some festive love to your friends and family. Then you have your hook and stitch marker. So we have the Christmas snowflake nighttime pattern on your polymer clay handle. We have the stitch holder. So you can put all your stitch markers on this and keep them all together in one place so you don't lose them. And we have our little Christmas tree crochet stitch marker for this month. And then we have our four balls of yarn, which is this month is the in-house Bella Coco confection DK. If you would like to make more of the patterns in this book than just one of them and you run out of yarn, these are the alternatives that they're recommending for you to be able to use. In our next pattern, we have the frosted ice cool mitts that have been designed by Lisa Hooper, also known as Cute Crochet Makes on Instagram. So you have these nice little mitts to keep your hands and fingers nice and toasty during the cold winter months, which, yeah, it's cold already. So patterns always with clearly. There's the beautiful mitts. A little bit about the history of crochet. Unknown origins, concrete clues, 
and just some these always reminds me of the different crochet projects you'd think of like your grandma and aunts doing it's got got that old-fashioned crochet vibe to it so you've got like old and new but what we think is new is probably old it just come around again I, mean, I always find that kind of crochet difficult because obviously that she's cro crocheting with what looks like to be thread I tend to lose motivation when crocheting with thread because it tends to take you a while to really get anywhere with thread or what you would refer to as lace weight yarn and then the final pattern for this booklet is Christmas tree Christmas treat ornaments these charming decorations all have pockets to hide your festive treats or loving notes on the Christmas tree well that's new I haven't seen that kind of thing before Designed by Kylie Molit, also known as Stitch Dupe Craft on Instagram. So all the patterns are always written clearly. And here are all the Christmas tree ornaments that you can make. Ah, so this is how they have pockets. I was wondering how they was going to do that. So little pockets to hide christmas treats so if you if you're just putting in hard candies or if you're putting in chocolate biscuits what have you i wouldn't particularly put them in there for a long time because depending on what type of candy you're in it's either gonna melt because your christmas tree lights or it's going to stain that so perhaps the night before like on christmas eve but closer to the actual day i wouldn't perhaps leave your treats in all month well, if you've got any little kids, they're not going to have any treats in by Christmas. They're going to be snuck in to, to get, get them off the Christmas tree and then pretended to close them back up. And then when you get them on Christmas Day, thinking there'll be treats in there. No, the kids have taken them all already. And there we have the end of that. Little gingerbread man hiding. And here at the end, we have the crochet box for January so this is a preview of what the box is going to be in January and the options to subscribe and then at the end we have as normal we have our conversion chart so it will convert UK crochet terms to US crochet terms or vice versa and then your hook conversion chart so supposedly they referred to differently in each part of the world but I've I'm from the UK and I've never heard two crochet hooks referred to in numbers like this like I would never call a four millimeter crochet hook a number eight or a six and a half a three I always either call them by the millimeter so if I want a four millimeter I'll say a four millimeter or if not, I'll say a G hook. So I just either go by the millimetre or the letter. I've never used this and yet supposedly it's how the people in the UK refer to it. Never have myself. Maybe you have, but I've never heard of it referred to that way. So that is the unboxing for Crochet Society Box 30, which is our latest box and it is our Christmas box. So let's bring this back. With that said, I've enjoyed having a look at this month's box. I think I will make, be making the Christmas tree garland out of this box. That's the pattern that seems to be calling out to me. What are you going to make from your box if you have one? I hope you've enjoyed looking at this as much as I've enjoyed showing it to you. If you have, then please do give this video a like. If you would like to see more content like this and you're not already subscribed, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. And if you are already subscribed, then make sure you have your notifications bell turned on. That way you'll get notified whenever I upload another video. With that said, thank you for joining me today. I really do appreciate it and I hope to see you all next time. Bye.